Um, well, hey everyone, it's good to have the team on here on a Monday night. It's uh, seven thirty Central. It's eight thirty Eastern. I like how you put Central first. I know where I stand on that that meter, but you know, Emily and I had a chance to go with Julie Johns for our team to Philadelphia to the Mid East Regional. We talked about it on a Facebook Live last night. And the thing that I think everybody wants to focus on is how to extend their business in 2019 from where they've started. You know, how do they get to a level of comfort and success? And we have to create those successful habits. And I, I have to point it out to my teammate here and, and the catalyst for everybody on this call. Emily has not stopped working since the plane connecting through St. Louis on Southwest on Saturday night when she got back uh, from presenting that day on the panel. And she's not kidding you when she says she's learned a lot because we all sat there, took notes, we learned from each other. We realized that we have successful habits but we can learn new successful habits. And I think we all took something away in Philadelphia. A lot of energy in the room as we talked about yesterday. It was something we weren't sure to expect but two weeks before Christmas, you had 500 people in the room that were very serious about taking their business to the next level. So we here at Team Limitless like to reinforce and continue to stress about creating successful habits. And I think, you know, Emily, we've got some bullet points here. We want to make this quick for everybody. We're going to be doing this Monday nights and Thursday nights every week. You want to talk about a successful habit. This is going to be every week until we get to this time next year in 2019. So you got 104 chances that Emily, myself, and the rest of the leaders on the team are not going to ask you to do anything other than what we're willing to do, which is to commit at least a half hour twice a week to sharing what we know, to helping you guys build those habits, and have fun with this. Above all, you guys are going to want to have more and more fun, and that's going to come with the success. So. I think with that, Emily, we'd like to, you know, probably run through some of the things that you've taken extensive notes on and, and it really shows through and I appreciate all your work and your efforts and I know the team does as well. So why don't you kick it off with some, some of the things that you'd like us to do once a day? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. And I'll start the slideshow in a second. And I think it, you hit on it, you know, when, when you see Troy and Danielle and Stephanie Martin and John and myself non-stop on your phone taking notes when someone else is speaking. It shows you that you can never learn too much and that we're all still continuing and we've all hit diamond. So those of you listening and wanting to learn, don't get discouraged. We can all grow. We can all learn from this and we're all a work in progress. I'm changing even how I talk to people on a daily basis, what works, what doesn't work and um, don't get discouraged. So I'm going to do a little screen share um, where, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up. We're just going to go through some notes one sec. I think it's important to note that I have another piece of artwork that I'm displaying. Oh, do you? Well, it was there. You just didn't see it on the Facebook Live. I just meant, okay, can you see that? I can. Okay. So, one sec, sorry, just, I need to, there, okay, try this again. Okay, so we're talking about doing one thing a day, and I think that's important. We touched on this on the Facebook Live yesterday, is if you want to be successful in business, period, you have to commit to doing one thing a day in this gel business. And it doesn't matter what it is. We're not going to tell you what that one thing is for you. Um, but it's just like any other job. Even if you go to, if you work at McDonald's and you go and you punch a clock, if you don't show up for work, you're not going to get paid. It's the same thing in this, in my other business, I have to work on a daily basis or I don't make money. Um, this is the same way. If you take a break, Take a break and admit it, like we say, and just get right back into it. With this, everything that you put in, you're going to see back out. So what we like to do is, you know, connect, share the business opportunity with five to 10 people a day, six days a week. So if that's what you're going to do on Sunday night, make your list. Um, write out the people that you're going to connect with. 
and, and make an effort and say, okay, I'm going to do these six people on Monday. I'm going to do these eight people on Tuesday and do it, follow through, go through with it. And then take one day off. If you want to take one day off, this is not saying you have to work 10 hours a day or 15 hours a day. Like I do. Um, but you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Sorry. All right. Is that one of your crayons that you just, <laughs> you know, and Emily, just to your point, you know, everybody's pretty familiar, uh, either has an athlete in your family or is it is an athlete on this call? Let's face it. So they get, you know, we, we were talking about this on a, another zoom today. Somebody who practices daily takes like 300 foul shots. has got a pretty good chance of being better than the guy who takes an occasional foul shot. It just counts on his accuracy or his athletic ability. It is that repetition. So when you talk about connecting with five to 10 people a day, six days a week, you can imagine what that funnel is going to look like after 52 weeks. Right. Right. And you're just counting on the percentages. Like it could be a low percentage, but if I have that discipline and that habit in every day, chances are I'm going to be pretty successful. And that's going to look like the numbers that you guys on the panel talked about. Right. I think everybody was a little bit astonished about how much effort you put in. Emily's put in probably close to 200 people in this business. And, they, and John was like, no, 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 you mean the customers? And you were like, no, 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 I mean distributors. And, you know, Joe and, and Frank, 100 people, you know, there's a lot of breadth to the, the process. So I think that's where people can start to think about this, do one thing a day, it's going to add up. Right. And, uh, you know, Joe, Joe, you know, and John talk about how in their last business, they never even found their one person until a year into the business. So when people start to get discouraged and think, well, look at Emily, she's got all this and look at Jen. And when you start to get discouraged, realize that Joe DeGrosso and Johnny, they never found their one person until a year in the business. Then they found their second go-getter two years into the business. This doesn't happen overnight. You just keep talking about it and talking about it. And we'll show you as the slides go on, what um, some good opportunity, like how to talk to people. Uh, make sure you're connecting with, your, with the people that you bring into the business. Sometimes people fall off and they're not as interested in staying in the business. And some people that they brought in are some rock stars. I mean, I, have, I work with my downline and they aren't even my personally sponsored. So you'll reach out and realize, just continue to, to keep the dialogue open and, and talk and communicate. Um, another thing that's very important is I think every single person should, no matter what, log in their back office every single day. This will help you not fall out of being active. Make sure your auto ship's on. Make sure your downline's auto ship is on. Um, you know, you have to have three active on your left and three active on your right to stay coach. And people just all of a sudden don't realize that somebody's fallen off. And you, if you're logging in every single day, by Friday, when the pay period is over, you would have seen this on Tuesday. So it's just a good habit, like we're talking about, to continue to do these things on a daily basis. Makes total sense. Um, this is just what we're talking about. It's just when we're talking about connecting with people, you know, five to ten people a day, ten if you can is a goal. These are just easy ways to talk to people to create curiosity because that's what you want to do. You, people do not want to feel like they're being sold to. The minute they feel like they're being sold to, a wall is going to come up and they're done. So you want to ease into this. You want to um, make it almost their idea. Do not vomit information on them. I have several of my people that say I just vomited information on them. Don't do it. Let them come back to you. So, you know, we just... I threw a couple things out there just to give you some examples. You can kind of read through them. You know, hey, so-and-so, I was thinking about you the other day. Something came across my desk that you might be interested in. If I send you some info, what time is a good time to chat about later today? You're not saying, can I chat with you? You're just saying, what time? So you're throwing it out there that that's it. The other thing you're, like another is just saying, you know, relate to them. Like you said, you wanted to take a beach vacation this year. I may have an answer for you. You may be looking for a new health plan going into the new year. I may have something you might be interested in. All these things are, you know, you relating to them without them feeling sold to. You want to expand on any of this? Hey, Beth. I, oh, I was going to. Go ahead. 
No, I, I, I think that last one, you, you know, you touched on a couple things about creating that curiosity, right? So th this was the one that, you know, when we were in the crowd, I think Danielle went out and said, how many people have a thousand friends plus on Facebook, right? Then 2000, right. 2000. I was shocked at the amount of uh, hands that went up. And so when you talk about people that are connected and you've talked about it from your own posts, right? A lot of us on the team, we, we, we uh, are supportive of each other and we, we like what uh, others are doing. So we're on Facebook already or Instagram already. And Danielle brought up something interesting. I thought that, you know, when we're talking about it, it's like, she's like, yes, you can connect with the people in New You Life, but why not reach outside of that group? Right. Why not she start said, to stop, stop connecting with people in New You Life. Yeah. All we're going to see is New You Life posts. <laughs> Yeah, she was totally, you know, she's like, you're, you're not going to be successful if all you're connecting with are new life people. But here's a way to, to look at this is that Beth, I'm sure in this example, when Emily states it that way and said, I've noticed you've had a thousand friends on Facebook. I had no idea you were so well connected. Beth is not even thinking about her thousand plus friends on Facebook as being a person of influence or connection. But it, it does add up because if I said, hey, Beth, what if I told you you could take 10% of your friends add them to your business over the course of three to six months and you can have amazing success and they're also going to get a chance to enjoy this product. People don't think about themselves as a funnel like that. So you, you, you hit the nail on the head here. People have got to start thinking about how they're a brand ambassador for New You Life and how they can start to connect with people that could be an extension of them in New You Life. So it's, it's a way of complimenting them and disarming them, right? That gate's always going to be up if you're calling and saying, hey, I've got an opportunity. As soon as you say that, people are like, what are you selling? Right. You can also, um, you can friend up to 10 friends a day on Facebook. Let's just say, you know, Facebook says, this person may be of interest to you. You know how it has that at the top. Don't friend more than 10 or you're going to go to Facebook jail, like Danielle said. But you can friend 10 friends a day. And so the more that you grow your Facebook friends, these people will see your posts, you know, Facebook will think you're relative. So all of this is just part of the social media aspect of all of this, you know, that if you want to grow and people to see. Okay. Now let's just say you've sent some messages, right? And you've, we're just talking about being non-evasive. I've been using more so the, um, Hey, you know, who do you know? Kind of more tap rooting, which we will get into on Thursday. Um, watch our Facebook Live from, from yesterday, if you haven't already, because um, we went into a little bit, so I don't want to be repetitive. Um, I thought it was really good. But following up is key, and following up quickly is more key. Like, I can't tell you enough, if somebody's excited and wants to, to join, you want, to, you want to get them this link, you want to send them a three-minute video, and you want to jump on a call right then. Because the minute you wait, people start to slow, they start to think about it, they change their mind. I mean, I signed up without people giving me any instructions. Actually, somebody sent me the link to look at in January, Kevin's friend from SMU, and I signed up right then and there. He didn't even tell me how to sign up. Like, I just figured it out. So I was so excited and I sent it to five people before he even knew I signed up, um, <laughs> clearly. Um, but I just, I think that the capitalizing on people's excitement is key and not waiting and not saying, hey, let's schedule a call for Thursday. Don't do that. I think that's so true. And, and you know, that's been pretty consistent since the beginning. You know, sometimes we get away from what the process is. We want to add our own creativity. There's some great guidelines in this business. If, if you were to think about when we go right back to the beginning of all the things that have gone up and down or the challenges we faced, one thing that's been very consistent is watch this video. And you know what? If you see the opportunity the way I do, I'd love to follow up with you. Can we get on a call here in the next 15, 20 minutes or at least in the next day or so? So that way we're connecting and I can explain more of the opportunity because there's a business to this as well, besides how great this product is. And that is something that everybody can now say after a year with 80,000 distributors and 50,000 customers, there's a pretty good process in place there, right? There's on the other sites, not that we're all signed up to it. There's like 500,000 people or half a million people that have kind of clued in on this. 
We've got 130,000 people that have participated one form or another in this, whether they be a customer or a distributor. Try to imagine what that's going to look like in 19, 2020. I don't want to rush time. If all you have to do is show a three minute video and capitalize and follow up, then the key is to not be uh, getting frustrated at all with this process. You believe right. in the product the way Emily and I do, you're going to keep be it, Keep it simple. Yeah. Um, you literally, if, if, if these scenarios don't work for you, I keep it super short and simple. Hey, so-and-so, I thought of you. You're going to be hearing about something really big. It's going viral. I'm going to send you this three-minute video. Send them the video. Get them on a call. That's it. It's very, very simple. There's nothing. If, if you're hung up on the MLM of it, what did, what did somebody say this weekend? Was it Stephanie that just said, well, what do you think of real estate? You know, real estate's the same thing. Well, how about Vin, Vin Lamantia, right? Or Vin Lamantia, as I like to say, Lamantia. He goes, yeah, it's a pyramid. That's why I'm in it. Why wouldn't I <laughs> want to get to the top of the pyramid? It's absolutely a pyramid. You should try it. It's absolutely why I'm involved in this. He, like, he embraces it. He's like, the hell with that. Why would I, I, tell, been people, I tell people all the time, hey, I'm in the, I, this weekend in the Sky Club. I said to that guy, oh, it's the top of this pyramid thing, but it's ground floor and, and we're at the very top. He was like, I'm in. I mean, if you just throw it out there and, and play on it and don't try to disguise it as some like, well, health and wellness, blah, 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 blah you know, and just, I, I'm a direct person, straight shooter. So, you know, I think that, but, you know, everything's a pyramid, everything, every business, corporate America, real estate deals. Everything is a pyramid. You get a, you sell a product and you get a piece of it. That's it. So I just think you got to be looking at this differently. And, then, um, and you know, M, this is the only pyramid where you can make more money than the person above you. Right. Right. So, so try it's that. Kind of a rectangle, so to speak. Yeah. It's, it's a, actually, it's a really good pyramid because it's inverted. <laughs> right. Um, this is just part of following up. Uh, two more examples where you just say, I've been on the product for 11 months. This is what's going on. The income opportunity has been phenomenal. Do you, who do you know that would be interested in this product? That's kind of bypassing them and, and seeing if they might have somebody also. And it gives them another chance to say, hey, what about me? Um, same thing here. Who do you know that's an entrepreneur that would love to get ahead of this trim? This company's growing fast. I think you would do really well. Let's get you signed up. Just be confident. Basically tell them, let's get you signed up right now. There's no reason for you not to sign up. Just, just to let you know, I went to my chiropractor today. She's just been a customer because she's not sure how she could somehow incorporate this into her business. She goes, oh, I wanted to tell you, I had a customer come in today and pitch me the gel. She goes, I need to revisit this with you. And that was like validation for her to like, this is going to happen with or without. Why not just be on the ground floor like we all are? and continue to say to our friends and disarm them and say, like you said, hey, look, I get it. This may not be a good time for you or you're not interested in the business side, but I know we're, you have a lot of contacts that would really be interested in this opportunity. Right. Would you be comfortable putting me in touch with them? But notice how your friend or whoever, your chiropractor, that had somebody else come in and sell it to you, it almost gave it that three-way validation. That's what the three-way call is for. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if when you're wanting to close the deal and you're new, get your sponsor on a three-way call. The upline coach, you don't, you don't need to go all the way to Kevin and myself or just your sponsor will help you close the deal. You just need to listen to two or three times and you've got this thing. You know, be confident. Get them plugged in right away. Add them to the main team page. Um, send, them, send them a couple of things that's, that are going to help them get started. Send them their link so they can understand and show them around the back office. I just think, you know, the more you empower people with knowledge, just like I was training my people, the better off everybody's going to be. Um, you know, we hear a lot lately just about, well, you know, the product, I don't know if the product is working, I'm hearing this. And I liked what, what Troy said about um, the gyms. He was like, 60% of people join gyms. Um, or 60% of people that join gyms don't go. Does yeah. that mean they don't work? No, it just means they don't use it. Gyms do work, but you have to use it and you have to use it consistently. It's the same thing with the gel. You have to 
make sure you've got to check in with your customers. You've got to check in with your distributors. The gel works. It's just being consistent, finding your dosage, walking through any sort of retracing any part of that. So I'm going to stop the screen share. And staying with it, you know what, and, and, and going back to the original list that you had for successful habits, as we go into 19, I don't think our lists have ever stopped evolving, right? We've, we've continued to take our list to builder, customer, not for nows. You know, there, there, there are things that you talked about, I think it was such a great line, right? Nose won't, right? Like what was the line that you were, you were using on No's Facebook? don't hurt your business at all, but yeses can, can change everything. Exactly. So all these no's that you get are just also no's for right now. I have so many hard no's that are a part of my team now. So <laughs> those are the people you need to go back and say, if you watch, if you go onto our team page and watch the call from yesterday, we tell you exactly what to say, but go to them and say, hey, I realize that this is not for you, but this is a business opportunity that I have never seen in my life. Who do you know that could benefit from this kind of opportunity? You're cutting them out of the picture. You're just saying, I don't even want you. Who else do you know? I know you're not interested. I had five people say, okay, well, wait, well, what about me kind of thing? You know, three were like, sign me up. So it's just another way to non-evasively go back to that person and say, you're super connected. I know you don't want in. Give me somebody who, who does. And it doesn't hurt that we're, you know, we're a company that's uh, one of the fastest growing, right? We're, we're at a, a north of a $100 million run rate. When we first started out in January, it was $100,000. They were so excited to hit that in the first <laughs> month of January. It's a million two run rate. Now they're 100, 120, maybe north of that. And we were, at, we were in West Palm together. I think at the time we were looking at 40,000, maybe 45,000 people. We're close to 80,000 people. You're going to go through major holidays. As Emily said, you're going to go through times when people take a pause. Just get right back on it. It's, 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 it's fun. Every doctor, everybody linked to health and wellness gets up on the stage on a panel and says, stay with this. Right. Stay with the product, stay with the business. It doesn't change. And, you know, when you feel like you've had a good run of success, you have a history of success, and you've got some people on your team that maybe have not experienced that success, help them reinforce these habits, right? These are things that we can do. Emily and I are not going to ask you, and no, nobody, Jen, anybody on this team, John, they're not going to ask you to do anything they're not willing to do themselves. Right. And I think if we're thinking about this logically as a team, because that's what we are, we have 4,000 plus people on our team, and that's a long way to, you know, to come in 12 months. Think about how big we're going to be once 2019 ends. And so I just think we're going to do our part and say we want to communicate more, not less. I get redundant with that, but we're going to put two sessions in every week. It's 104 times a year to connect, if not more, to kind of develop a successful habit. And so we want that opportunity for everybody. We know you guys can achieve it. And we, you started out, who wants to be a diamond? Look at how many people responded to that. It's everybody's got it within them. The athletes there. It's just, well, it's and just I, Jen and stupid. I were talking this morning and we said, you know, some of the people that just say, you know what? I realize this isn't for me. Can you even imagine some of these other companies that are now 10 years old and you know, the top people are making four five, six million a year. If you, if four or five years from now, you say, gosh, you know, I, I was a part of that, that great company over there, but I, I, I just didn't think the gel worked. I just couldn't do my auto ship. I just stepped out of it. I just don't want that for anyone on our team. We're in this so early that, I mean, Danielle, was, she took the question when we were on the women's panel, and I'll say it again when somebody said, what do you say to somebody when they say, well, we're a year into it. What, you know, isn't that too late? And she just laughed and said, three to five years a company gets its footing. This is nothing. This is the beginning, this is the infancy. So for all of us that are on this call that are plugged in every day, if you actually do these practices every day and you message people and you text people and you get them on calls and you get them plugged in, they'd re you'd rather them be on your team than not. So these practices will help you. Just like Kevin said, um, we are in the very, very beginning and we will be on the Zoom every Monday and Thursday. So we will see oh. you what, Thursday? 
I think we do Thursday again. We've got some new topics we'll go over every week. We, we want it to be interactive. If you guys have something you want to discuss, run it by Emily for sure. We'll just, you know, be, we're open to ideas. There's going to be, it's going to be a living, breathing thing. This, this power of the gel as we will brand this going forward. And I think one thing I would tell you guys, if we're 4,000 people and the company is 80,000, we're 5% of the company. There are public companies that survive on 5% of the company. Let's be that 5%. Let's be the company that just says, absolutely, we're going to be the ones that lead the charge. We're going to have events coming up. I know we're thinking about getting together again in Dallas, you know, in the first quarter. There's a lot of fun stuff to be had. And anytime you guys feel yourself in a rut, elevate it. Look yourself in the mirror and say, there's a lot of fun to be had. I've got this opportunity. And if you need some inspiration, certainly give one of us a call. We'll, we'll inspire the heck out of you. <laughs> or snap it back into gear. One of the two. <laughs> Get to work. It's work. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming on. And um, we will see you on Thursday. Emily, thanks for all your work. I know the team appreciates it. You guys have a great night. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Bye.